Dana Walker. Welcome to my channel. I have five kiddos, ages 11, 9, 7, 5, and 2, and they are going to be going into 6th, 4th, 2nd, kindergarten, and toddler. <laughs> um, so we use the Timber Doodle kits, and I absolutely love them. We have about nine kits from them now, and today I'm going to walk through test prep, and this is just something that we have used for every single grade, except for kindergarten. They do all sat test prepping, um, but it's just a great workbook that we've used, and like, subscribe. Thank you for joining me today and let's get started. Okay, so in Timber Doodle, every single kit that you buy comes with this awesome, wonderful handbook and it is like my mommy Bible <laughs> for everything homeschooling. And it basically does like a template kind of weekly checklist for you, but we use the online scheduler and it schedules all their work for them. Another thing that I love about this handbook is that it basically tells you everything you know about each subject and how to schedule the work. And so at the beginning of the year, I basically kind of go through every single planner, even though I've already gone through some of it before and kind of schedule in what I need to do. And then at the beginning of every single workbook, I put in like a post-it note and I haven't done this yet because I'm still planning. Um, I put like a post-it note and I tape it in like tape, 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 so it can't come off of like how many pages per week they need to do, what it means for it to be done, what page to find the answers, and then I'll put a post-it note for like, here's your bookmark, and then I'll put a post-it note for the actual like um, answer key in the back, because um, I have them check their own work and then correct it as they go. I feel like it's a part of their learning. So test prep is really awesome because it's all sorts of subjects that are covered um, in most standardized tests. And again, I do not use this to like, test my kid, if they don't know the answer, then I am able to write them in there, teach them um, how and what they need to know about that subject. And we are in Texas, please check your own state for your testing requirements and everything else for homeschooling. But I love this book because we're able to sort of go through the different subjects as they come up um, if we have not gone through it in their kit. Okay, so this has like fill in the blank questions, it has clue questions, it has, you know, math in here, algebra, it has, you know, reading comprehension, and Helen Keller remembers, how fun is that? Um, and just map reading, and let me get to the table of contents real quick. Okay, so here is a table of contents. So here they have get ready for tests, six reading skills, reading comprehension, vocabulary, math problem solving, um, plan, like com coming up with a plan. They have this in a couple of the other previous books too. Language, a practice test, another practice test, another practice test, and a language practice test. And so these um, are, I'm gonna show you some of the pages here. So for instance, it starts out on this page with reading skills, and they're really, really quite, they're not like as daunting, and then they have little test tips here for you, which I have them read and check off when they read it. And so I basically have the kiddos do about, let me see how many pages are in here. So there's about 120 pages, and I have the kids do about four to five pages per week, and I have them start this in probably December. Um, I kind of want them to get a kick start on their year before they're getting tested on it. So it's like it's, you know, kind of straggling behind or whatever. Um, and so if they're able, this will trickle into summer and I'm okay with that. We school year round and I like that they can check their own answers with this and it covers things that aren't necessarily in some of their work plans. Let me know if you use any other kind of testing books or if you use this before in the past, this is obviously our first time using sixth grade. Um, I do like the previous years and again, like, subscribe, comment, do all the things and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.